can honestly say that I would not be where I am today without Kapal. Getting a unpaid uh, internship with the government in 2012 was um, very difficult. So thanks to Kapal, I was able to accept that internship. And it essentially was my dream internship and really solidified my career passion in public health and in communications. There's so much to learn about the ins and outs of government. And it takes a good bit. So the earlier you start, the better off you are, number one. Number two, the impact of even a small policy decision in public service has a, such a such a wide sweep around the country. I was told that this night is uh, celebrating your accomplishments and also honoring those who have given back to the APA community. So I'm honored to be sharing this night with all of you. Now we see, in addition to the Washington Leadership Program, which builds upon that idea to reach out to interns, uh, it's, it's much more elaborate now. But in addition, there are scholarships, there are agreements with individual depart uh, departments. I know Farouk has led some of the uh, efforts to build uh, relationships with individual uh, governmental agencies to make sure that some of this extends beyond just this summer. There's a huge difference between working smart and working harder. Asians try to work, Asian American, Asian Pacific Americans try to work harder. Frequently, you end up in a cubicle pushing paper and more hard work being dumped on you. So you need to work smarter. So it's very important to understand that. Do not be over dependent on your boss. Your boss is, I always tell people around me, your superior does not necessarily mean he or she is superior to you. Okay? So therefore, it is very important to understand that he or she is a human being just like yourself. So be complimentary. Try to support, try to find out your boss's strength and weakness. So that, that way you can complement his or her needs in a professionally healthy way. Our president recently said, um, change doesn't come from Washington. Change comes to Washington. And I think that's very evident in the work that Kapal does, that you're bringing the new generation of leaders here to Washington, you know, so that they can go back out to their communities and bring change, which is what our government is about. that we are creating a workplace where all employees and customers are treated with dignity and respect and provided the opportunity for success. The goal of cultural transformation is to get everyone, in, uh, to get everyone at USDA from the undersecretaries to the employees at every grade level in every location to work to ensure USDA is a place where there's a, equity of opportunity for all employees and everyone who works here is empowered to reach their full potential. Everyone, I am absolutely delighted to be here today um, with such a distinguished audience and I thank you from the bottom of my heart for everyone who has um, supported our organization uh, with their financial support, with your time. We are a fully run, a volunteer run organization, so everything that you contribute to us really means so much. I joined Kapal back in 2010 because I really believed um, that I could be part of something bigger than myself. And I think everyone here is supporting this organization and is part of this group because you believe that you can be part of something bigger than yourself and a cause that really matters for the community.